The comforting aroma of baking bread or cookies can fill a house, let alone a kitchen. The smell of some baked goods can even remind us of the simple, happy days of our childhood. Perhaps because their easy recipes were among the first things we ever cooked. One whiff and we are transported back in time. Requiring only an oven and a baking sheet or pan. Baking is a relatively simple method of dry cooking. Used for breads, cakes, cookies, and pastries. When baking, Heat is transferred to the surface of the food through the convection of hot air inside an enclosed oven. The heat then penetrates the food through conduction, cooking it uniformly all the way through. Depending on the size, density, and exposed surface area of the food being baked, the duration of cooking will differ. Larger volumes, as in a bread loaf, take longer than smaller volumes, like muffins. A sheet cake will cook at a quicker rate than a round cake, even if the two are the same weight. An incorrect balance of ingredients may also alter the cooking time, so it is important to read recipes carefully and measure all wet and dry ingredients of the dough or mixture accurately. The longer food remains in a hot oven, the more moisture is removed from the food and the drier, darker, and tougher it becomes. So an oven timer or a watchful eye on the clock is a must when baking. The temperature of the oven is equally important and depends on the recipe being followed. Remember that ovens take time to reach their set temperature. Preheating the oven before putting the food in ensures that it will cook at a uniform rate. The recipe may also suggest a specific position in the oven on which to place the food. But as a general rule of thumb, the middle position is where the oven's temperature is the most consistent and accurate. A baking oven needs to be sealed so that the heat is retained inside. It may use a gas flame or electric elements to provide heat to the air. Some ovens have a fan to spread the hot air more evenly through the oven. These are known as convection ovens. In the case of pies or some other pastries, a process known as blind baking or pre-baking may be necessary. This involves baking a pie crust first without its filling. This is a necessary step if the pie filling isn't going to be baked, like a lemon curd tart, or if the pie filling is particularly wet and will make the crust soggy if it hasn't already been hardened through pre-baking. Blind baking involves the use of ceramic or metal pie weights that fill the pie crust to help retain its shape in the oven. Dried peas or uncooked rice works well too. Except for a food's reduced water content, baking results in minimal nutritional losses. Although it's worth noting that baked goods, like cakes, aren't always very nutritious to begin with. And as with all cooking methods involving high temperatures, safety is important. Baking sheets and pans and the baked foods they contain reach extremely high temperatures during cooking. Always be careful and use an oven mitt to remove them. Where appropriate, let food cool before removing it from a baking sheet or pan. Oven baking cooks food uniformly through conduction. Preheat the oven before baking to ensure a consistent rate of cooking. Cooking duration and temperature depend on the recipe. Read it carefully. Stay safe. Use oven mitts when handling baked foods and equipment. If you like this video, you can find it and so many more at clickview.net. Sign up for free today.